We finally get to talk. Yeah. I'm sorry to have my lashes on. I was ready to go to bed, but still got it. Okay, so how was your day today? My day to day has been full on rehearsals and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it was tiring for all of us because we were practicing everything from top 20 to top 10 to top 5 to speech to Q&A, everything. So it's been a long day and yes, I'm just really looking forward to okay, my so, bed tonight. Mm -hmm. So you arrived here like first week of October, right? Yes. It's like a long journey for you. And finally, you're on the last night, and we don't know what will happen tomorrow. So, how does it feel that tomorrow is the big grand night? Honestly, I know this is not the usual answer for the girls, but when I think about coronation happening, I feel very calm about it. I am very excited, looking forward to it because I have been preparing so long for it. But I don't feel so nervous or anxious and i don't want to because then i know it will affect my performance so i'm trying to remain calm and just ready yeah um i just want to ask you about the highlights of your experience here oh I mean, there's you know, too much staying in vietnam for three weeks experiencing the culture meeting oh, wow. with people other countries and the food <laughs> and everything so what's what's the highlight of the whole journey here in vietnam? oh there's so many but i think the highlight would really be the adventures overall that I had with the girls, all the hotels I stayed with, all the um, experiences that we made, like the cooking class or the fashion shows we did. I think that was kind of a great moment for us because we really bonded. And I think that was when we kind of lost our um, competitiveness or like that intimidation that we feel in between each other. So I think that was the biggest highlight. Okay, um, I want to look back to what happened in Danang because they were like expecting from you because it's a swim, it's a swim to competition, right? And you know, the weather was unforgiving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let me know, let, let us know what were your thoughts regarding that experience? I mean, you know, we know that you, you're you you're trying to give it, but mm -hmm. somehow just like holding back. So because of that forgiving weather. So Yes. So there was a lot going on that day because of course, we, again, we have been preparing it for so long and I was very ready. I think even a Watt post on his story, me preparing backstage. And I was very nervous because my hair got messy in the rain, the humidity, and then also my makeup. And because I'm feeling all these different things, it messed up with my focus. It switched my focus. And um, at the end of the day, I think like after I kind of slipped, yeah. I wasn't so um sad about it because i was looking at the other girls and we were all feeling like yes thing, yes right? we were all feeling the same so we we're kind of okay <laughs> it happened it have happened. to just enjoy accept it but you you know you aced it thank um, in a way yeah <laughs> yeah you, you were like included in the top 10 performers that day some girls actually didn't even slip i don't know how they did uh, that yeah maybe yeah uh, you have your own technique i don't know but you know that's the magic it's the shoes. <laughs> yeah. So let's go to your preliminaries. Okay. So we, you came out in the pink dress. I mean, like Barbie, Barbie. That matches your, you know, the face card that, you know, that I was saying. Um, tell me something about the dress. I mean, were you the one decided to wear the pink one or the team? Or Honestly, it was my the entire team's decision i think we all agree that the colors that fit me best are kind of like jewel tones like strong colors and then i don't know why i just felt like pink connected to me in a way and i really wanted to look like a barbie and so we agreed on that and of course because rian he's an amazing designer i just let him design everything and he did it perfectly so yeah you were gorgeous amazing at thank you um it matches your, you know, the whole package. I, I loved it. I loved young, it. Young, youthful, fresh. <laughs> and speaking of young, you're one of the youngest in the competition. Along with Czech and Ukraine. Yes. The yes. In the competition. So do you think it's an advantage for you or disadvantage? Because we know that, you know, the organization is looking for BBB. I mean, you know, the acronym BBB. Baby. Baby. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for BBB. You know, I think it's not really the first time, but, you know, it's so rare for a Philippine delegate going to this Grand International. At this age? 20. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't think that age I, I is... Think so. I think so. Really? Okay. Well, I don't think that age is a disadvantage. Oh, yeah, Roberta, yeah. Oh, yeah, Roberta. Roberta. She, was, yeah. she was 19 also 19, when she yeah, joined. Age, yes. But, um, how does it feel that, okay, so yeah, she's so young, so mm -hmm. fresh, and, you know, how, how do you, like, 
battle with these like women from other countries.